we began our work at the Daily Buzz because the Buzz was in crisis. Well, the Daily Buzz not only needed to find a new home, but they had staff that needed to leave, and that's the hardest challenge that a television station faces, is not only acquiring good talent and sales, but then the ability to keep them. And I knew that we had some problems with our our different markets and finding really good salespeople. You couldn't um, distinguish who those persons were by just a interview. When we were thinking of acquiring the E3, I brought it to Doug and basically Doug thought it was just crazy. Bullshit. Bullshit. I didn't believe in those tests in general because I had taken, with NBC, with Outlet, I'd taken a lot and they weren't me. When I took it home and showed it to my wife, she goes, that's effing you. And I was going, my goodness, this is exactly what we need. It's when I realized that, you know what, if it can target me this well, then it could target anyone. So the first thing we had to do was to determine which people on the Daily Buzz staff needed to stay and which ones needed to go. We were able to complete E3 assessments on probably 40 people in the first hour. We used the E3 to make that determination very quickly and accurately. We were in agreement, full agreement, by the end of the first day of the contract. E3 was helped me identify the better people for the type of sales I needed, period. The ability for us to take my best people in the best positions, benchmark them, and then before hiring, knowing that they fit within our culture and the type of sales we needed. I needed more aggressive salespeople. I needed more people who were creative. If you're not using the E3 for, for hiring salespeople, you're just, you're just rolling the dice five times instead of two times. It's very easy to get through quickly, and any good salesperson is going to become bored if they have to continually just sit there, and that's not the type of salesperson I want anyway. Then, the Daily Buzz was having problems in really understanding their audience. Who was this audience that was watching kind of this wacky news show that combined accurate news with comedy? And they had spent a fortune on different market analysis, different research to tell them who that audience was, but nothing can tell somebody who they are better than the E3. And one of the things, obviously, that the E3 showed us was that because we had a more creative audience, they were a little more intelligent, they were open to new ideas. They scored 20 points above the mean on creativity on the E3, which is very significant. We knew we had latitude with our viewers that other shows didn't. Well, they could understand things. They, they could resonate with our show. By increasing the viewing audience, they were finally able to get on the scoreboard. And by getting on the scoreboard, they were able to attract their first national advertisers and make money. It saves you money, it gets you better salespeople, which creates more revenue, which creates more cash flow. You know, it's a valuable tool for any company trying to grow their cash flow, which is every company I know. 